So today I wanted to talk about some moon omens. It's continuing with the series on omens that I've experienced, giving some examples so that you guys can uh, learn from them and feel more confident when you are reading omens and helping you in your personal life or in readings. So this goes back to the Charleston uh, church shooting, the Mother Emanuel shooting. It was a it was a pretty tragic event that happened here. Um, but this omen deals with the moon. So just so you know, the pretext of this there was a, a really horrible shooting where a, a white supremacist kid uh, killed like a dozen uh, people in a church, uh, an old traditional old black church in Charleston. Charleston, South Carolina has a huge uh, history of slavery and and um, well, the city itself is not racist. There is still that background, but most people here are not racist as all at all. Um, but there is still that underlying those residues of that stuff from the past. Uh, slave trade like went right through Charleston. So a kid shot up a church and ran away and got caught and he got put in jail and he's actually been sentenced to death. Um, and this was basically just a reaction that the Charleston community had. He thought he was going to start a race war or something when actually he did the exact opposite and the entire Charleston community like banded together and was like so shocked by that. And on Facebook, someone started a little idea for like a peace walk over the bridge, a unity walk, walk for peace over the bridge, just because everyone was so outraged by this happening and didn't want people to think in the news that this is what Charleston represents because this made worldwide headlines and national headlines. President Obama came here to give a speech and it was a good speech. But overall, uh, people were all really shocked. And so it started out with just 50 people were planning to go and walk over the bridge and I don't know hold hands do do stuff just to feel good and feel positive and feel love and peace and so many people were outraged this but that we actually broke 20,000 people the night that we will all walk to the bridge I was there I went up there there were boats all in the harbor everyone was there and it was the most surreal feeling of healing um, that happened and I just being an uh, intuitive empathic person I was like wow this is just a tremendous feeling all the boats in the harbor there were people flying by on planes and helicopters with positive messages written in banners there were um, Stephen Colbert was walking by I, I saw because he's from Charleston there was just all the all these people had come to show uh, show that they weren't racist you know what I mean to show their support it was more people than come for the every year for the yearly bridge run, which is this really famous uh, event in Charleston. Venus, Jupiter, and the moon were all in the night sky. It, they were in the western sky at sunset while this was happening. It was really just beautiful. You could see it. it the moon was uh, not full, I don't believe. I think it was more like a sliver, but you could see the moon, Venus, and Jupiter. Three beautiful, benefic planets. Um... You could see them in the night sky, and I remember that being beautiful. But the real moon omen that I'm here to talk about was that I happened to look down. This is the largest suspension bridge on the East Coast. This is hundreds of feet up. This is one of those bridges where people jump off, they die. They don't. You can't survive the drop. So high up. But there's a little bar There's a little island sort of in the middle that it goes over, and with uh, twenty thousand people walking around, I happened to look down, and I saw two deer down on the ground on this little island 200 feet down below just sitting there with their knee with their knees like this you know how deers and like dogs will sit just like really kind of coy looking and just poised and just peaceful and just sitting there and west resting there were just two deer on an island alone just watching us all and you will never see deer on that island i've seen deer only once as a kid on that island um when i was going over the bridge uh, deer can swim, so they swim out there, I assume, to be left alone by humans. Um, and that was unbelievable. Uh, the fact that the deer felt comfortable to reveal themselves around over 20,000 people with fireworks going off, with all these things happening, they could tell that it was about love. I just can't, I can't say, I, I don't know, you know, you can, 
you can criticize me, you can say whatever you want, you know, of course this is anecdotal, this is speculative, but if you were there, you would have been blown away. And no one even saw these deer, only the people that were right near me, I pointed out to my friends, um, and all the people that would walk by, and, and no one else even saw them, uh, still to this day, there's no one else I know who saw them, so they peacefully revealed themselves, and I guess I was fortunate enough to be an omen reader that they decided they would let me see them, and I happened to see them. And that was just an enchanting moment. And I just knew right then that this event was actually having like a karmic jujitsu like effect where the negative energy that this this kid tried to create, this race war or whatever this kid tried to create in jujitsu, you use the enemy's attack and you use their energy and momentum against them and you throw them over. And so it was like that. It was like this spiritual or karmic jujitsu where the the positivity of this environment uh, we we uh, spun it back around and made something really positive out of this event. Of course, no, racism isn't completely gone. There are still people in Charleston that will probably do racist things, but in the in the grand scheme of things, don't let the media fool you. People have been really, really healing a lot and making a lot of growth here, and you don't see that on the news. So this was a really, really beautiful experience, and I wanted to share it because of that. And I've also spec I've also made some videos about how Charleston is incredibly lunar and ruled by the moon and very Cancerian anyway. And you can watch the, that video if you want. It's on here. Search for Charleston and you'll see it come up.